Welcome to my new home. Hi everybody. Today we have a very special episode because we are driving to a very special project. This is really special because it's not just a big remodel, but it's my home remodel. It's my personal home. I recently decided that you know, our existing home wasn't big enough for a family um, and decided to sell our house, which sold way quicker than I expected. Um, I was not prepared for how hot the Dallas market was. And um, I was in a position where I needed to find a home quickly. Um, it was challenging, but I was in good hands. I was working with a friend and colleague who is an expert real estate agent um, and an expert in um, modern homes around Dallas, um, Janelle Alcantara. Thank you, Janelle. Uh, we came across this house and immediately I fell in love with the neighborhood and with the architecture of the home. Um, when I saw the pictures and I came to the lot, I loved the trees in the backyard. The fact that it backs up to a creek, you know, we have two young kids and a big dog and it just felt like it really fit our, our vibe, the vibe of our family. The only problem was it did not make any sense on the interior. The house was completely configured in a really strange way, lots of hallways, um, very small bedrooms. Um, and you know, I thought who else would be um, able to take on this as a project but our team at Beyond ID. Um, thank goodness I've got the bandwidth um, to pull from the resources of, and expertise of our team um, to design it quickly and to get our guys in there to um, do the remodel. Um, and that's kind of where we are right now. You are gonna to get to see the behind the scenes of all the demo and the framing that's happening right now. And I'll share with you guys what you should see in the future um, as this project progresses. So hang on because it's gonna be really exciting. Looks a little messy right now, but I promise you it's gonna look amazing. And as we were walking in, I'm gonna show you guys the living room. And there's already progress, because this used to be a sunken living room and we've already raised the floors. And you can see here, what sold me on this house. This amazing view. The creek in the back, the walking trail, the round window, which is architecturally quirky, but I decided to keep. As a matter of fact, we're replicating that into the office. We're adding this round window. You can see it's already been framed out for a new window right here. So as we're working inside, you can see the rest of the space, um, but it also mirrors what's going on on the other side of the elevation. So through here, you see we have this fireplace, this is the side of the fireplace, that does two, uh, faces both, both sides. It's a double-sided fireplace. It's a little bit smaller. We've already framed it out so that it closes the space and creates this cozy um, living room that's adjacent to the, the entertaining living room. This is gonna be more of a reading nook, whiskey room. We're gonna have wallpaper on the walls that are um, mimicking a wood veneer so that the space really feels like it's hugging you. So you have the fire going, you have bar cabinets on that side, you've got books, you've got the library feel, so much more cozy and moody than the rest of the house. Um, here we're gonna have some walls with bookshelves and then double doors that go into the office. So like I was saying, the repeating round windows throughout the space, you get to see it from here as well. And then let's go in here and I'll show you guys one of the major changes we've done so far, which is opening up these walls. This was originally two rooms. So we had this living space that was a sunken living room. Then there was a wall here. This was a ginormous dining room, unnecessarily. And then there was another wall here. And this was a additional bedroom, you could call it. Um, but to me, it just didn't make sense. So we decided to open up the whole space. And this is gonna be where we have our new kitchen. That's the part I'm most excited about. 
We're having this amazing custom kitchen that we're partnering up with Ornare and with Monogram Appliances and creating a chef kitchen. Um, side note, my husband is a chef, so <laughs> he got to um, get the kitchen of his dreams. I'm excited to show you guys what that looks like. Um, and we're creating this amazing open space for dining and entertaining. So this would be a dining room. This would be the kitchen. We're gonna have a long, beautiful island here. Um, so you could be cooking over here and looking out into the backyard. So originally when we designed this kitchen on the fly, <laughs> we knew immediately we were gonna open up the walls and create this big island. We had a 18 foot island, which was gonna take the island all the way to about right here, pretty much into the living room. This entire wall is gonna be cabinetry for the kitchen, but on this side, we're gonna have a um, coffee machine, a coffee bar, some pantry space, and then a, a wine cooler here, a tower. It's gonna be amazing. So I thought, why not create a whole other island? So we're making that, we decided recently to make the edit and make that island a little smaller, and then adding another island here, and it will be more like the bar island. Um, so I'm excited to see how those changes look in the model. We're gonna have a really cool design element, which is gonna be a cabinet door that's gonna take you into the powder room and the other side of the house. So essentially it's gonna look like it's all kitchen cabinetry, but when you open up this door, it will take you into a completely different space. So that will be really exciting too. So as you come over to the side, you can see the space underneath the staircase, which was a uh, waste of space essentially uh, before we turned into a powder room. So where I'm stepping right now will be powder room. The commode's gonna go here. We're gonna have a beautiful vanity here with marble slab on the wall, integrated sink. It's gonna look gorgeous. And then here we're back to the front door and you can see now we have space for a coat closet directly across from that we're going to have a solid wall but behind that wall we now have room for a really big laundry room so if you come with me i will try not to fall through the floors <laughs> and show you um, we've got this beautiful window that brings in a lot of natural light so we decided to do a pocket door here so that once this is open, you get all the natural light coming in from the front door into the hallway to the rest of the spaces. This door takes you to the garage. So we thought this was a great opportunity to create a little nook for a mudroom. So we have mudroom cabinets going here. It's gonna be great for the kids to drop off their backpacks, for us to put our coats, you know, when it's not 100 degrees in Texas, <laughs> um, set our purses down. All that stuff that creates clutter when you're coming in and out of the house, the practical stuff will live here. Um, so that, you know, once you come in, um, you can go through that secret door and make your way into the living room. So that's the general flow that we're going for in this um, downstairs area. One thing I wanna share with you guys is that if you are playing a remodel, a big remodel like this, where you're really thinking about taking down walls and reconfiguring space, it's hard to know what's behind the walls before you open them up, right? Before you do demo. So I wanted to share what we ended up doing here in order to be able to accommodate this open space. Again, we removed two load bearing walls. And in order to do that, we had to install these headers and you can see how wide they are, how deep they are, and they're doubled up, they're sistered up in, at each of these touch points in order to support the second story. That's why right now we've got these um, temporary um, posts right here holding um, those beams up. We recently reinforced the piers underneath the foundation to make sure it's supported well. Um, and we added these metal posts um, to make sure that those beams, those headers, are supported properly. So again, some of those things you don't think about when you're dreaming up your perfect space, um, but that you do need to be prepared for when taking on a project this, of this size. And we have to do it all over again on this side. So again, this was a whole other room um, with supporting low-bearing low walls, and we had to do the same thing here. We put new headers, 
and new metal posts in order to support the weight of the second story. Another thing, when you're thinking about doing a project of this scale and you're planning on you know, phasing it out, kind of like I'm doing. Right now, we're keeping the existing kitchen where it is so that we can live here. Yes, believe it or not, we are living here. Um, and then building the new kitchen as we go. And because of delays with the supply chain, we know that we're not gonna have our kitchen ready until probably late August, when the cabinetry is gonna come in, when the appliances are gonna come in. So we kept the kitchen there for, for now as we build this new kitchen here. But, you know, we're using the bathrooms upstairs, we're using the bedroom upstairs. So this was another unforeseen um, solution that we had to come up with. Um, in order to keep a functioning bathroom upstairs, um, we had to just expose these pipes in order to connect to the plumbing underneath the house. Um, and again, we're just gonna have to live with it until everything here is finished and we're ready to do the upstairs ba bathroom and move all the plumbing into the new walls. Um, so it's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna work well. And once it's all done, it's gonna be great. Another cool element in this living room that I'm really excited about is this awesome fireplace. It was framed out originally to be small and skinny and kind of end at that ceiling height right there. And I really saw the opportunity of making this a big statement. So we framed it all up to the ceiling and this is gonna get covered completely in a porcelain um, tile, a large scale porcelain tile that has minimal veining. It's gonna look super modern and cool. Um, we extended the hearth so that it looks like the fireplace box is bigger than it actually is. Uh, but while we were doing that, we encountered a little surprise. There are some strange looking screens on the, on the wall. Um, and upon further investigation, we saw that it was actually some really cool speakers. So fun facts about, you know, renovating an older home is that you get to uncover some of those cool things that you didn't know were there before. So you can see, we took the one down from there, but you can see there's another one here. Um, and it turns out it's a pretty well sought out speaker that, you know, people that really love vintage speakers are looking for. So that was pretty cool to find. So glad you're following along. Stay tuned to see all the things that are going to be happening here and really watch the transformation happen one episode at a time.